Give me this one again. Okay. So, I did not mean to zoom in. I will do this though. Okay. Uh, left to right. So, uh, this back row. First of all, in the in the third row, this is Stump back here, who uh, I don't know if it's because they were uh, Stump normally volunteers, so maybe they were busy and didn't know how long they were gonna stay. But uh, they uh, they're sitting back there. All right, this back row. Uh, this is Band Nerd Band Nerd Rob. Um, they mostly come from the the Halo community. Um. They come in here every now and again. Uh, they were mostly here for for Zoo's run. Um, Zoo did the Halo Two run, two runs after mine. So, uh, and they they just saw there was an open spot and they were like, okay. And I'm it, it, if you don't know that the the back couch is basically for like people not on like the real couch, the like with like mics and whatnot. Um, they're for like friends of the runner and. Uh, uh, fun fact about this one in particular, uh, the reason this photo exists is because someone from GDQ staff was walking by, saw that this many people were on the back couch, and were like, wait a minute, why are there so many of you? Can we get a photo? And so, uh, there you go. Uh, so, Banner Drop, uh, this is Wed, uh, Wed mostly uh, runs a lot of Spyro stuff. Uh, I think Wed's been to every GDQ in the last, like, God knows how many years. So I, I you know, normally hang out with them uh, a few times per GDQ, and they're super cool. Um, this is Estrava. Estrava is mostly a Sly Runner, and I think this was their first GDQ. Um, I think they may have been on commentary for, uh, slide four. I could be wrong. Don't quote me on that. Such an unlikable guy. I need to make a version of this with all the people that don't like me. That'd be funny. I'll just, like, Photoshop and all the people that don't like me. Uh... This is Hooper. Hooper, um, if you have not seen Hooper's Crash Nitro Kart run, you uh, definitely should. Hooper's first GDQ. This is their their second GDQ, right? I know they were at a unofficially second. Okay, I was gonna ask about that. Were they just like there, but they weren't? Uh, like, did they not have a badge? I don't know. Anyway, awesome dude. And, uh, they had their, the Crash Nitro Kart run. So, uh, definitely watch that if you get a chance. Uh, Nitrovsky, a lot of you guys probably know, uh, oh, dude, I mean, they've ran, like, I think every PlayStation platformer that's not Ratchet, which is kind of funny, but, um, yeah, they're mostly known for a lot of Sprash stuff, I think, and they ran Jack 2, like, way back when, they were like, Hey! Hey, Banner Drum! I will, well, there you go. And Jack X, he's got, I didn't know that. A couple tasks as well. That is true, yeah. Never ran Sly either. I thought so. Uh... Maybe that's like a, like an association thing. Uh, the association, uh, one person over. Uh, kind of obscured, but uh, that's Cinder back there. Uh, I've known Cinder for like four and a half, almost five years at this point. Um, she also runs Sly. Uh, she was on commentary, I believe, also for Sly 4. Uh... It was, it was cool seeing both of them again. Uh, that's Rico. I think Rico, at this point, I've, uh... Besides maybe Manto, who obviously lives, like, an hour from me. 
for slap three, I believe. Maybe. I'm 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 trying to remember. Slide three and slide four happened back to back at like seven and eight in the morning. Like thirty minutes. Wait, thirty minutes for what? Uh oh. You and Manto. It's like forty minutes, but uh, I have to pay some like crazy, like almost t ten dollar toll. Otherwise, it's an hour. So technically, it's only forty minutes, but like I'm not fucking paying that. So it's like an hour, which is fine. But uh, I think other than them, I think I've met Rico more than any other speedrunner at this point. It, like, it's been like... Try Illinois holes. Oh, how bad is it? I know if you want to go, like, more west in Pennsylvania, it's, like, really bad. I've seen, like, tolls to get to, like, the the western half, and it's, like... 25 to 30 dollars and i'm like nope uh i just saw rico at pace like right before this so uh they were on comms for my kingdom hearts run and uh and they were uh they being uh, Rico and also Violin, who are roommates, if you guys don't know. Um, I stayed at their house while I was at Pace. and uh, uh, I didn't get to see Violin a lot during then. And I talked to them very sparingly at this event. But uh, I know during Pace, they were in the middle of a, a subathon. So they were, like, busy while I was there. So it is fine like where have you been i think they've only been roommates for like a few months now like it was this year i'm pretty sure or i'm crazy i don't know uh oh uh rico if you don't know i mean i mentioned kingdom hearts earlier but uh i think crash is what they're probably most known for running but they've also just run like a bunch of stuff at this point uh, and then Violin is also, uh, 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 one of, uh, looking at this photo, one of, uh, two Kingdom Hearts goats on the couch. We'll get to the other in a little bit. Uh, this is Joester. Uh, Joester, I mean, they had the, uh, the Mad Panic coaster on, which I felt bad I wasn't there for because it was at, like, five in the morning it just kept getting pushed further and further back and i remember literally like it was like 3 a.m and i'm like i'm not gonna make it so i felt bad but uh yeah they had that run twins legend i've also met joester a bunch at this point um met them at wham uh i think they've been to every gdq that i've been to met them at esa my favorite Joester story is uh, um, AGDQ 2024. Uh, it was after the Eagles uh, lost and were out for the season. And it was really bad. And I bumped into Joester in the practice room the next morning. And all he said to me is, I'm so sorry. Which is really funny to me. Uh... All right, for this last row, uh, or last for this row, uh, we have Merkez, and she's kind of hidden back there, but uh, that's Lexi, uh, his girlfriend. Um, I've met both of them a few times at this point. Uh, I love Merkez so much. Uh, Merkez donated during the run from the back couch, which is, like, funny to me. Um, runs mostly crash stuff, and... Uh, I hung out with Merkez a ton in uh, SGDQ 2022, and uh, they were just like super, uh, him and his roommate at the time. Actually, 
I guess Lexi was the third roommate, so the three of them, Merk has Lexi, and then her, uh, Merk has his friend from Norway, was also there. And, uh, they were all just super, super nice to me, super, uh, inviting and welcoming, and, uh, I talked to them a little bit, uh, I didn't want to, like, like, bother them too much, because, uh, you know, she lives in Minnesota, and him being from Norway, that's, uh, they don't get to spend that much time together, so I wanted to just, uh, you know, give them as much as they could, but, like, we all got in the pool a bunch, I talked to them for a little bit after my run, and, uh, yeah, I love them both. Alright. This front row. So, uh, this is Nave. Nave did the, uh, Sly 3 run, and, uh, I believe this was also their, their first GDQ. Um, I've known Nave forever at this point, too. Um, they did the Sly 3 run. Uh, I only got to talk with them, like, on a few occasions. They were, they were, like, in and out with a bunch of different groups, so, uh, I, I got to talk with them, like, a couple times, but, uh, and yeah, super cool dude. Uh, this is Even Stevens, who, uh, also runs Sly. Uh, I've known them for a long time, too. Uh, I talked to them a little bit. Uh, I know they were... They were, um... They had Sly 1 as a backup run, so they were, like, practicing a bunch just in case. They, uh, they got the the heads up that they were gonna have that run accepted. Um, I know their BC PS3 also broke, so that kind of sucks. But, uh, it was cool talking with him a lot. I've, like, I've known Stevens for forever. Looks the same as right, right before he says the most out-of-pocket thing. That's pretty true. <laughs> Steven MK we also um, yeah their flight got delayed so so they missed the run which oh well things happen uh where are we all right he was in here earlier this is Greg I feel like I've known Greg for a long time too and uh is cool to like finally get to like like speak with them and uh do greg is oh my god there's a reason that we all say greg is best again just very very inviting very uh yeah they were just super chill the entire week uh this is Uranium Kitten, here right now. Uh, also their first GDQ. I, I think, like... Rob, I know this was your first. I believe it was Ostrava's first. Uh, and then these first four here, I think, was all their first as well. He said it was uh, Hooper's first, like, real one. I know it was Zane's first real one. I think everyone else has been to a bunch at this point. Um, trip sitter. That's true, yeah. Um, what was I saying? I hung out with Kit in a bunch uh, the first couple days. They had to leave early, which, you know, things happen. It was unfortunate, but uh, it was great seeing them. Uh, this is Disintegration. Uh, I am a fake fan and don't remember the numbers at the end of their name. I dare I look? Oh no, I'm pretty sure I know, but I I want to just in case my guess is wrong. Okay, I was wrong. 
406, yeah. I almost said 305, which is funny because that's like one number over. But, uh, I hung out with them a bunch this time and a bunch at the last GDQ, and, yeah, they're very chill. They were, yeah, they're always fun to hang out with. With the distance with playing theater in them one night. I think I remember that. I'm pretty sure I remember that. There was a few days where, like... Because, like... Uh... Oh, I'll tell that story in a second, Jura. The arcade this year was really good. The arcade is normally, like... If you're not into rhythm games... Um... Or pinball. There's, like, maybe, like... One or two things. And it's like, oh, okay, this is fun for, like, a little bit. But then it gets, like, kind of stale. But this arcade... Crazy Taxi, we played a bunch. Um... I'm a fan of a, a, a game called Taiko Drum Master, which, you know, me being me, I guess, checks out. But um, I played that a bunch. F-Zero Arcade, which I didn't know was a thing, but that was sick. Uh, have Polybius there. I kind of wish that, that they did. That would have been funny. Yeah, F Zero GP it was. And they brought the whole arcade. I gotta find. I gotta look for it after. There's the photo of. Because the crazy taxi machine broke. And so there's a picture of Steven, like. He looks like. He looks like he's saying his final goodbyes to someone, like, at, at a funeral. And it's like. It's so dramatic in, like, the best way. I'll have to find it. Anyways, where are we? Uh, oh, and, uh, we were playing Rack 1 in, uh, in, in, in my room, and, uh, we let... I just let, like, a bunch of people, like, try ILJs out, and, uh... And Disintegration did, did really well. And it's, it's, like, funny because I feel like Dis got, like, that little taste and was like, hmm. And so now, yeah, we all gotta be like, yo, like, I need you to do this. Um. Most of you probably know, this is, a uh, Dil Wingo, who I've also met a bunch of times at this point, uh, Dill and I had a very long conversation on the the day before everyone left, and uh, I have to say it uh, it meant a lot to me. We talked about a bunch of things, but uh, we did talk about my run for a little bit, and uh, that meant a lot. And yeah, he cut all his hair off before uh, he flew out, which. I gotta say, I think suits him very well. Oh my god, it's him. Hi, Hooper. Um, I met Dill when he was running Ratchet 2, but he's also done, like, Crash stuff and Final Fantasy 7 and a few other things. Uh, I've known him for forever at this point, too. I feel like I've known a lot of the people on this back couch for, like, a bunch of years now. Which is cool. It's always nice seeing, uh, old friends. And making new ones. Meanwhile... Hooper, I feel like, like, like I've known you for, a. Uh, a little bit. That's way on our floor. Which one? I feel like there's like 10 photos of Steven passed out on our floor. Must sure you watch part of the video? That's really funny. That's really funny. I'm holding on to that one. It's 
Steven was... I love Steven so much. I need to Photoshop Steven in here somewhere. I need to find... I'm, I'm gonna get the photo of him on the crazy taxi machine. I'm gonna put it, like, in the background somewhere. Uh, where am I? This is Valen. I met Valen at the last GDQ, I believe. Um... Hung out for a little bit. Cool dude. I shot me too. I gotta Photoshop you in here somewhere too. Yeah. Me too. Yo. I'm gonna put everyone in. I feel like there's a bunch of people that, uh. And maybe it's because the run was like on day zero. A lot of people just, uh. Like they were still like traveling. And so they, uh. They unfortunately missed out, which is, you know, it happens. Fine with this run. Metalama, I did meet you at this event, and I'm uh, very thankful to have, because uh, you were also very fun to be around. I feel like, it's like funny to me, because I don't drink like at all anymore, so I was uh, definitely winded a lot this GDQ, and so uh, next time I will try uh, the dirty bastard. You notice the pig? I guess not, yeah. Um, from what I, I was telling this earlier, apparently, like, a GDQ staff member was, like, walking by and was like, what the fuck, why are there so many people from here? And then asked to, like, like, yo, can we get a photo of this? And so, I think it was just, like, like a quick thing. In fact, I, I'm even looking now. If you look, like, here, it looks like I'm on Blarg. It looks like one of the Blarg doors. So, uh... I guess this was mid-run. Where was I? Oh my god. Alright. Good night, Ordinary God. Good to see you again. Thanks for hanging out. Zoom in on Nitro. That's a very, uh... That's a stare of all time. Alright. I gotta talk about... They were also in here earlier. I gotta talk about Psycho Zane. The breakfast hater. I feel like we didn't play that bit up nearly as much as we should've. But, oh well. Um. So, some lore. Um. Zane came in uh, on a Zem raid. It was the first day ever, or I, I think it was it was the day, uh, the day before I got affiliate and uh, and Zem raided, and Psycho came in with that. They came back the next day after i did my onboarding and whatnot and they were the first person to ever subscribe uh to the stream and uh as uh things would be uh they've they've been here ever since they've literally they are by all <laughs> by by all accounts a day one and uh and like i said they this was their first like like proper GDQ. Um, they live in Minnesota, so it was like an hour drive. So the last uh, SGDQ I was at, they came up for I think like three days or something and crashed in our room. And uh, I I just think like it's it's funny that like they just happened to live in the area and so it just worked out because they couldn't otherwise like. 
I guess just like traveling and whatnot would have been just too much. But it just happened to work out that like they only had to drive the like hour and change uh, to be here. And so I don't know. Is I love Zane. I'm a uh, very thankful to have met them. Uh, last but surely not least, especially considering that, uh, again, if you watch the run, they're, uh, obscured, uh, by Jura. Uh, this is Swift. Uh, Swift and Padges, for those who don't know, uh, got... Do I say, like, like, unofficially ma married? Because, like, there was a ceremony and whatnot. It was, it was a friend's wedding. It was, uh, for the people, uh, who... Uh, couldn't make the actual wedding, which is, I think, the majority of people there. But, uh, I, I met Swift SGDQ 2022 just, like, by chance. You know, just with, like, people. And, like, I think I talked about this before I left. It's, like, kind of, kind of funny that I feel like over the last, like, couple years the the ratchet and kingdom hearts communities kind of like merge back in i i feel like they were always kind of close but i feel like for a while they were like drifting apart and then in the last like three years they've kind of like come back just with like friends of friends and uh i don't know so i met swift like just because they were friends of friends and, uh, you know, obviously I respected them as a runner and whatnot. Uh, they run Kingdom Hearts, uh, if that, if I didn't say that earlier. Um, then they started dating one of my best friends. So, obviously then we became a lot closer, and, uh, I'm very thankful for that. Uh, I feel like I've said this for almost everyone here, but, like, I am very thankful to have met the majority of people. And, again, the majority of people in this photo I've known for, like, many years now. And, uh, it, uh, it meant a lot to me that, uh, they all showed up. I love Swift so much. I love everyone in this photo so much, honestly. We're getting married. Two years? Swift also sent me a, a very, very long and uh, heartfelt message after uh, she got back from, uh, like, after the two of them got back to Vegas, which, uh, which meant a lot to me. Yeah. All right. Like we said, Blake and Steven aren't here, so, uh... We'll Photoshop them. I mean, I've known both of them for forever as well. So, is, uh... Who else? Do I have a... Where's the BRB screen at? I feel like... Most of the people here... In... Oh, wait. Holy fuck, I have technology. Wait a minute. Open with... Okay. Close that list. Where are we? Okay. Can I... Well, that's Zoom. Where the fuck is full screen? <sighs> Anyways. I think, like, most of the people here, um, I've already commented on, but a few others, uh, Tacos, Zeke, uh, Witsend, uh, Ninten, I think, don't quote me, uh, Wyatt, Blake, and Steven, I already mentioned, uh, they all came a bit later. Um, like, throughout the week, but, uh, 
God, this photo's so good. I feel like, like, like... Did you use Remember the Moment? Care for anything I think of most. Aww. Thank you. Honestly, meeting, like, a lot of people for the first time is always uh, my favorite part about events like this. Obviously, it, it's great seeing, like, old friends again and whatnot, but, like, I don't know. There's... I feel like meeting people for the first time after talking with them for so long is, like, very special. from best part it's true also that pose that i'm standing in i don't know if you guys well there's chat covering up uh i don't know what we were on it was i think carpet but very very thin carpet and it left a, a very nice bruise on uh on my elbow oops oh and i'm still wearing the, the inuyasha shirt yes inuyasha dude English is hard. Where the fuck is the water? Easier to clean. Yeah, it was like... Very, very thin. Dude, what a great photo. Man, I don't even want to play this game anymore. Oh. And yeah. Shout out the white high tops. That is... Actually, I'm just realizing, not that this was planned, I'm not wearing black anything in this photo, which, I mean, I guess except for socks, but fuck. Whatever. That's very unlike me. Had to do the six month one. Oh my god. Alright, thanks for the eleven months. Was that planned? It was not planned. It just kinda happened. Actually, I'm not wearing anything black right now either. Blue high top boomers. Those shoes were also fire. I don't know if I said that. 